guys welcome back to dark angel beauty thank you so much for tuning in with us today i am andy and if you saw yesterday's video you saw me struggle hardcore with the auburn shade in the nyx three and one brow combo it was less the product and more the shade which looked like highlighter orange when i was hoping it was going to be like a brown red so the brows i have on right now i went in with a dark taupe color from abh and i um mixed the two and i made a the reddish brown that I was hoping for I think so that was yesterday's video um, we're gonna continue along I'm gonna do this is a combined like brand highlight and first impressions for BH cosmetics I just picked up this illusion 16 color shadow palette it's got a lot of really pretty um, shimmers and mattes in it a lot of vibrant colors which I'm very very into as you guys know and I have a bunch of BH cosmetics um, products that I've been wanting to do like a brand highlight for so I've just got a couple of my staples here I've got the blush in Bali color um, a six color blush and highlight palette here I'm gonna do my cheeks with that and then I have um, four highlights even though that has highlighters in it I'm gonna use the spotlight six color palette um, oops and then I dropped that and then I'm also going to use the Best, the Weekend Festival palette, which has a lot of also really vibrant colors, just to kind of help out with some of the colors that I have in this little illusion palette. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Um, I'm gonna go in with this really light pink color, but uh, I sliced it nicely. I took it on vacation with me because it's a beautiful palette, and I sliced it just ever so nicely with the little piece of plastic that is supposed to protect it. Ironic, I know. Um, so there's like a really big gash and a bunch of like fallout from it and that made me devastatingly sad but as you can tell it just applies so daggone easily it's so beautiful it's this really pretty nice neutral pinky color and I just love it I have a really pretty um, highlight palette from them that's got a lot of vibrant colors in it too that's not really the look that I was trying to go for with this particular one since I've got a bunch of um, color on my eyes I wanted to do kind of a neutral highlight today so I'm gonna go in with this really pretty like goldish color right here it's called dream and as you can tell like these pans are ginormous just absolutely huge and I think their highlight palettes are like 16 or 18 dollars so they're super affordable it just makes it like this really nice like sun kiss look all right I'm gonna pop on some eyeshadow primer real quick I think this little guy is like close to the end of his life he was like a super small sample and he's just like really just struggling to push product out now which you know we all have those days bud and because i'm wearing blue today i think i am going to do a blue color scheme i normally don't do that and I, that's because i really feel like blue just washes me out but i'm gonna do a nice pretty blue eye today i think there's a lot of really pretty blue shades in this illusion palette and you know what is life without a little bit of challenge i've already had like four mental breakdowns because of my eyebrows so let's just keep the fun times rolling this is the festival i picked this one up a while ago i think they kind of released it around the time coachella was big so those are the pretty pretty colors and that lots of vibrance lots of glitters just a really good palette to bring with you if you are looking to have like a really bright eye look to match with that i've got this illusion palette which like i literally just picked up i think i did the haul video for it yesterday I'm gonna go in with this like really nice matte teal color called Palooza and I'm gonna do that as like kind of a wide look on the outside like my vibrant color for the outside. I have not really worked with the Festival palette a whole lot. I There's quite a few BH Cosmetics palettes that I have used my little heart out with but um this one because I think that the colors are just so vibrant I haven't I mean I love them but I just haven't really gone to it as much as I probably should have this is like or like everybody in the 90s when you just would like cake on like really really vibrant blue eyeshadow and you'd be like yes I'm perfect now now I'm gonna go in with hippie which is a nice orange shade and I'm gonna kind of like blend that into this to hopefully darken it up a little bit I have realized uh, my one flaw here is that I don't have really any neutral shades at all to blend this out with. At all. Like, none. There's zero in either one of these palettes. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I may have to pull out another palette that I have in my bag down here to at least give myself some sort of blending shade because if not it's just going to be real hell, real hella murky. Just real, real bad. 
Okay, so I did go in with the color Trixie, which is kind of like a light champagne -y glitter color, and try and do like a brow highlight to try and use that as a blending shade. I still don't think it's exactly what I want. Um, I'm gonna keep going with the darker colors first, and then if I need to, I'll pull out another palette. Um, but I'm gonna move over to the Illusion palette. I'm gonna use this really deep royal blue as my outer corner color. And that's kind of the shade of the shirt that I'm wearing today. It's like this deep, deep, deep blue, almost navy. I think this is why I'm so obsessed with concealer because it, in just like a couple swipes, can just make everything really come together in many ways. Now we are going to go in with this really pretty light blue. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, honestly, I'm exhausted. Um, it doesn't look terrible. It's not what I probably would normally do. Uh, the colors are beautiful. It's hard to argue. The blues are very, very beautiful. If you're a blue person, I think you would really, really love these particular shades. I just am not normally a blue person, and so I just went out of my comfort zone, and it's just... Anyway! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I do highly recommend BH Cosmetics. They have tons of very beautiful pigmented palettes. Just an absolute wide variety of everything you possibly want. And um, they're very affordable. They're all like roughly 14, 16, 18 dollar-ish range. So if you haven't checked them out, I would recommend checking them out. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like our channel and you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time we release something. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly but with a dark twist.